Scratch new extension. Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the speech recognition or speech to text extension in Scratch. So when Scratch 3 was under development, there was a speech recognition extension being worked. But it wasn't there in the official release. So in this video, we are going to check how to use the speech recognition or speech to text in Scratch. So let's get started. So smash that like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on all the notifications. So the first thing you need to do is click on the link on the description and open the Scratch GUI. So this GUI is made by machine learning for kids.co.uk. So it's really simple, just click on the extensions and then you'll see a number of new and really cool extensions. So this Scratch UI is really cool and then you'll see the speech to text extension. So this is for Google Chrome browser only, so make sure you have a Google Chrome browser and then just simply click on it. And then you'll get these three blocks. There's only three blocks for this speech to text extension. The first block is listen and wait to get the input. And the second block is the hat block. And the third is the variable which displays the result. So okay, the first block is the listen and wait block. So simply it would just listen and make your speech into text. So go for events when you black click. And now when you click the green flag, it will ask your permission to use your microphone. So to use this section, then you need to click hello. Click on the speech to text and click on speech so you can see the result. And now from this extension, you got this really cool mic icon. Okay, now let's test this. Cat. YouTube. So now let's make a simple program to see how these blocks work. So I'll go for costumes and choose a costume called Doe. And now when we flag click, we need to hide. And okay, now let's test this program. Dog. Cat. And now you can see our speech recognition is working. And there are many more fun and awesome extensions. We got AI extensions, we got a bad word detector, and we also got our machines like Arduino and Raspberry Pi. So all of these are really fun extensions like the speed to text. So let's just hope that Scratch would add these really cool extensions, maybe on Scratch 4, who knows. So for now, you could just use this really cool extension in the Scratch UI. So there's a thing you need to keep in mind that if you need to save, you need to save it to your computer. And if you try opening this project which use any of the extensions which is not officially in Scratch and try to open it on the normal Scratch editor, it would display an error or it won't show these new blocks. So make sure if you use any of these new extensions, you could only use it on this Scratch GUI. So that's it for this tutorial. So if you want to make an awesome scrolling platformer like this, make sure to click this video. So see you with another awesome Scratch tutorial.